Hey guys, uh, LL served you with another video. Um, this is how to start your own media server. Right, so you want to type in TV adversity or something in Google and then go to, um, go to the first result, which should be, if you spell it right. <laughs> right, and then you just go download now. Then you'll see all this. It took me a while to work out which one. But anyway, you just go to the black one there, that one, not the first one, the second one. <laughs> right, so. My computer stuff's up here, but I think yours should um start straight away. Sorry, my internet was pretty bad. <laughs> okay, and then you just save it and download it. Um, I'm gonna cancel it since I already have it. Right, and then once you install it and all that, blah blah, blah it should well save it, then install it. Yeah, and it should save to your downloads or wherever your other download save. Right. I couldn't find it, so that's why I'm taking so long. <laughs> right, and then once you install it, you should see it on your desktop, maybe, or it'll be in all programs if you've got XP or 7 or whatever. <laughs> okay. And you want to go to the media server one, not the Kodak one, the media server. Then we'll go down to the actual one, and then you open it. <laughs> okay, here you can, you got, you got to go up to um, library, I think it is. So once it loads, you get all this stuff. Go up to the library, and then you see you can add your folders. You can get rid of them, and blah blah blah. And once you do that, um, they'll come up on your PS3 and whatever if you're connected to the same um internet. Right. Uh, sorry. Um, PM me for any questions and stuff. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped. See ya.